Я лег в постель. I lay down on my bed. С деньгами и другими ценными вещами близко к руке. With my money and other precious things close at hand. Всю ночь. All night long. Дул ветер и лил дождь. The wind blew and the rain poured. Рано утром я встал. Early in the morning I arose. И взглянул на море. And looked out toward the sea. Волны катились очень высоко. The waves were rolling very high. Корабль исчез. The ship was gone. Море поглотило его. The sea had swallowed it up. Так как я не мог больше наведываться на корабль, As I could make no more visits to the ship. Я теперь задумался о других вещах. I now began to think of other things. Я все еще боялся, а вдруг на острове дикие звери. I was still afraid lest there were savage beasts on the island. Дикие люди. Savage men. Тоже могли объявиться. Two might come that way. Если бы кто-то из них нашел меня, If any of these should find me. Как я смогу защититься от них? How could I protect myself from them? Мне нужен более крепкий дом. I must have a stronger house. Мне нужно построить себе небольшую крепость или замок. I must build me a little fort or castle. Место, в котором я был, было ровным и сырым. The place I was in was flat and wet. Мой навес был на открытой земле. My tent was on open ground. И мог быть легко увиден с расстояния. Рядом не было пресной воды. There was no fresh water near it. Мне нужно найти лучшее место для моего замка. I must find a better place than this for my castle. Недалеко от берега был скалистый холм. A little way from the shore there was a rocky hill. Я пошел посмотреть на него. I went to look at it. На полпути вверх по холму. Halfway up the hill. Было большое ровное место. There was a large level place. С большим камнем, вырастающим позади него, как стена. With 
with a great rock rising behind it like the side of a house. Я взобрался до ровного места. I climbed up to the level place. Был только один путь. There was but one way to go. А именно по крутой и вьющейся дорожке. And that was by a steep and winding path. Я нашел это место намного большим, чем я думал. I found the place much larger than I thought. Оно было более ста ярдов длиной. It was more than a hundred yards long. И почти половину этого шириной. And almost half as broad. Это было на самом деле. It was indeed. Зеленое поле. A green field. Или равнина. Or plain. С крутой скалой, поднимающейся за ней. With steep cliff rising up behind it. Вы должны представить себе это как большую полку. You must think of it as a great shelf. На полпути до вершины холма. Halfway up the side of the hill. Здесь сказал я себе место для замка. Here, I said to myself, is the place for my castle. Было нелегким делом перенести все мои вещи. It was no easy thing to carry all my goods. Вверх по крутой тропинке. Up the steep path. Я трудился упорно много дней. I worked hard for many days. Но с другой стороны, ничего другого не было делать. But then, there was nothing else to do. А мне нужно было какое-либо занятие. And I must keep busy. В одном месте в боку большой скалы был пролом. At one place on the side of the great rock, there was a break. Или отверстие. Or opening. Как дверь в пещеру. Like the door to a cave. Но пещеры там не было. But there was no cave there. Как раз перед этим проломом. Just in front of this break. Я начал строить мой замок. I began to build my castle. Сначала я нарисовал полукруг на земле. First, I drew a half circle upon the ground. С отверстием в центре. With the opening at the center. Расстояние, которое он охватывал. The space which it enclosed. Было около 30 футов в диаметре. 
was about 30 feet across. В этом полукруге я установил два ряда крепких столбов. In this half circle I set up two rows of strong stakes. Вогнав их глубоко в землю. Driving them deep into the ground. Ряды были не больше, чем на 6 дюймов друг от друга. The rows were not more than six inches apart. Столбы были удалены друг от друга примерно на два дюйма. The stakes were about two inches apart. И были такими высокими, как моя голова, были на уровне головы. And as high as my head. Затем между и вокруг этих столбов я уложил большие веревки. Которые я привез с корабля. That I had brought from the ship. Между ними я перевил among these I twined тонкие ветки деревьев the slender branches of trees и длинные ветки виноградной лозы and long grapevines которые нашел в лесу that I found in the woods Когда все было окончено, when all was finished, у меня были стены почти в шесть футов высотой. I had a wall nearly six feet high. Стена была такой крепкой, что ничто не могло прорваться сквозь нее. It was so strong that nothing could break through it. Я не сделал двери в стене. I made no door in the wall. Единственный способ попасть внутрь двора. The only way in which to get into the yard. За стеной. Behind it. Был пройти через верх. Was by going over the top. Это делалось посредством залезания по короткой лестнице. This was done by climbing a short ladder. который я мог поднять за собой, а потом спустить вниз опять. Which I could lift up after me, and then let down again. В какой безопасности я чувствовал себя сейчас? How safe I felt now. когда я стоял за стеной моего замка. As I stood inside of my castle wall. Через эту стену я затем перенес все мои богатства. Over this wall I next carried all my riches. еду, инструменты, мои коробки с одеждой. Food, my tools, my boxes of clothing. 
затем прямо у большой скалы. Then right against the great rock. Я сделал себе большой навес, чтобы укрываться от дождя. I made me a large tent to shelter me from the rain. Под этот навес я перенес все, что было бы испорчено, если бы намокло. Into this tent I brought everything that would be spoiled by getting wet. В середине навеса. In the middle of it. Я подвесил гамак. I swung the hammock, который я перевез с корабля, that I had brought from the ship. Так как вы должны помнить, что я был моряком. For you must remember that I was a sailor. И мог спать лучше в гамаке, чем на кровати. And I could sleep better in a hammock than on a bed. Полость в скале. The hollow place in the rock. Была точно такой, как я надеялся. Was just as I hoped. Это было на самом деле большой расселенной или трещиной. It was, indeed, a large cleft or crack. Заполненный только землей и маленькими камнями. Filled only with earth and small stones. Такими инструментами, какие у меня были. With such tools as I had. Я начал выкапывать землю и камни. I began to dig the earth and stones away. Я вынес их через мой навес. I carried them out through my tent. И уложил их вдоль внутренней стороны стены. And piled them up along the inside of my wall. За несколько дней я устроил неплохую пещеру. In a few days I had made quite a cave, которая могла очень хорошо служить как погреб для моего замка. Which would serve very well as a cellar to my castle. Я назвал пещеру моей кухней. I called the cave my kitchen. Но когда я начал готовить, but when I began my cooking. Я нашел, что лучше делать большую часть этого снаружи. I found it best to do most of that work outside. В плохую погоду. In bad weather. Однако. However. Кухня была превосходным местом для жизни. The kitchen was an excellent place to live in. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. 
Robinson Crusoe Written Anew for Children by James Baldwin Chapter 14 I Build Me a Castle I lay down on my bed with my money and other precious things close at hand. All night long the wind blew and the rain poured. Early in the morning I arose and looked out toward the sea. The waves were rolling very high. The ship was gone. The sea had swallowed it up. As I could make no more visits to the ship, I now began to think of other things. I was still afraid, lest there were savage beasts on the island. Savage men, too, might come that way. If any one of these should find me, how could I protect myself from them? I must have a stronger house to live in. I must build me a little fort or a castle. The place I was in was flat and wet. My tent was on open ground and could be plainly seen from a distance. There was no fresh water near it. I must find a better place than this for my castle. A little way from the shore there was a rocky hill. I went to look at it. Halfway up the hill there was a large level place with a great rock rising behind it like the side of a house. I climbed up to the level place. There was but one way to go, and that was by a steep and winding path. I found the place much larger than I thought. It was more than a hundred yards long, and almost half as broad. It was, indeed, a green field, or plain, with steep cliff rising up behind it. You must think of it as a great shelf halfway up the side of the hill. Here, I said to myself, is the place for my castle. It was no easy thing to carry all my goods up the steep path to this level plain. I worked hard for many days, but then there was nothing else to do, and I must needs keep busy. At one place on the side of the great rock there was a break or opening like the door to a cave, but there was no cave there. Just in front of this break I began to build my castle. First I drew a half circle upon the ground with the opening at the center. The place which it enclosed was about thirty feet across. In this half circle I set up two rows of strong stakes, driving them deep into the ground. The rows were not more than six inches apart. The stakes were about two inches apart and as high as my head. Then between and around these stakes I laid the great ropes that I had brought from the ship. Among these I twined the slender branches of trees and long grapevines that I found in the woods. When all was finished, I had a wall nearly six feet high. It was so strong that nothing could break through it. I made no door in the wall. The only way in which to get into the yard behind it was by going over the top. This was done by climbing a short ladder, which I could lift up after me and then let down again. How safe I felt now, as I stood inside of my castle wall. Over this wall I next carried all my riches, food, my tools, my boxes of clothing. Then, right against the great rock, I made me a large tent to shelter me from the rain. Into this tent I brought everything that would be spoiled by getting wet. In the middle of it I swung my hammock that I had brought from the ship, for you must remember that I was a sailor, and I could sleep better in a hammock than on a bed. The hollow place in the rock was just as I hoped. It was, indeed, a large cleft, or crack, filled only with earth and small stones. With such tools as I had, I began to dig the earth and stones away. I carried them out through my tent, and piled them up along the inside of my wall. In a few days I had made quite a cave, which would serve very well as a cellar to my castle. I called the cave my kitchen, but when I began my cooking I found it 
best to do most of that work outside. In bad weather, however, the kitchen was an excellent place to live in.